Hello and welcome to your daily sex IQ question at 5MI Weekly. Today's question concerns the psychology and sociology of homosexuality. <clears throat> Before sharing today's question, let's do a quick recap on what we've learned thus far from your sex IQ test. We've learned the average age people are first engaging in sexual intercourse, the percentage of men having extramarital affairs, the percentage of women who have engaged in anal intercourse, the probability of transferring HIV during anal intercourse, the hardiness of HIV, the biology of personal lubricants, and how expansive sexual experiences are. What will we be learning today? True or false? It is usually difficult to tell whether people are or are not homosexual just by their appearance or gestures. Give yourself a point if you said true. 59% of Americans got this question correct in 1991, and only 46% of Americans got this question correct in 2016. The question of whether one's sexual orientation can be determined by observation alone is a controversial one. Many scientific studies claim this is possible but back up their claims with accuracy rates ranging between only 55 and 65 percent, with chance being 50 percent. Further, most of these studies fail to control for subject biases and do not make true distinctions between measuring gender characteristics or sexual orientation characteristics. For example, Following the prenatal hormone theory, most of these studies assume homosexual men are more feminine than heterosexual men. Although homosexual men are more likely to be non-conforming to binary genders than heterosexual men, there is no evidence of gender-causing orientation or orientation-causing gender. And in fact, recent studies have actually found homosexual men are perceived as being more masculine than their heterosexual counterparts. A soon-to-be published but not yet replicated study by Yilin Wang and Michael Kaczynski at Stanford University found a computer algorithm to distinguish homosexual and heterosexual faces with accuracy rates between 83 and 91 percent. Without replication, this study remains controversial especially with its findings of homosexual men having gender atypical facial morphologies, which follows the same gender biases of previous research. So what does this all mean? The jury is still out on whether one can detect sexual orientation based upon observation alone. There's no definitive proof of gaydar, but there's certainly proof, definitive proof of gender. Would you like to know the super secret scientific way to detect a person's sexual orientation? Are you ready? You ask the person, who are you sexually attracted to? That's all my time for today. Be sure to keep a running total of the number of questions you've answered correctly and the type of question you've answered correctly as well. Today's question was both a psychological as well as a sociological type of question. See you tomorrow for sex IQ question number nine, a biological question about menstruation and pregnancy.